all the people, mechanics, friends. Yeah, <laughs> the racing for sure. That's what I like, racing. He will have a great life because he's a great guy and he has a great family and he has made many friends uh, and uh, I'm, I'm proud to be one of the biggest friends of him. Jose will miss to the, all the mountain bike cross country circuits. He is one of the legend of, uh, of the cross country um, with uh, the result for sure, but also with the image. Uh, always smiling, always speaking a lot, a lot of different languages, uh, always joking with uh, everybody. He is uh, a really a true legend, you know, he is, uh, I would say, unique. Uh, he was uh, always a gentleman, you know, uh, in the peloton and stuff, and it's uh, not easy to replace this guy, you know, because he was adding a special flavor to the mountain bike sports, uh, and uh, yeah, I think he's going to be missed uh, a lot. In the pre-show today, we had a big piece on Jose because it was his last World Cup. And it, you know, it, when I watched it, it, it made me have goose pimples. You know, because we're not going to see him again at the World Cups, and he's going to be really missed. And that's because he's just—he's just, he's just the, like the nicest, funnest guy. Never seems to be in a bad mood. It, you know, a couple, a couple of memories of Peter Maritzburg at Worlds. I went into the worst club in Peter Maritzburg. And there was Jose, to excuse me, totally wasted at the bar. We had a good laugh there. And uh, just, yeah, just he's just fun, man. It's just it's gonna be yeah, a real shame that, I think one of, the, one of the last real characters of mountain biking from the old era has quit, you know? So it's a, it's a sad day, really. It's a sad day, he's gonna be missing him, yeah. Yeah, definitely we're going to miss uh, Jose in the World Cup circuit. Uh, he's a real character actually and uh, he always gives some extra to the riders, to the races. Uh, yeah, he's always smiling, laughing, making jokes and uh, yeah, a guy like him uh, definitely we're going to miss. Would you like to drink, sir? Coca-Cola, Fanta, Popcorns. Coca-Cola, Fanta, Popcorns. Chicken soup, uh, it's been awesome watching you over the years. Um, yeah, he's just a fun guy to hang around with and it's always awesome when I get to see him at the races when the when the downhill and the cross country guys get to cross paths. Jose is one of the first guys I like to go and find and have a catch up with. Just 20 years of him laughing all the time, you know? He's been the he's been the most fun guy to have around on the circuit. And uh, you know, I first saw him in Cairns at the World Championships in 96. And ever since then, he's been, you know, a really huge part of the the family and the circuit. So, yeah, just on his day, he was unbeatable. You know, when he won world championships and when he could win world cups, he was he was always really, really good rider. But it's his personality that everyone will miss. You know, well, hopefully he can stay around on the circuit and you know still be a part of it because yeah, he's a he's he's, he's larger than life, and I, I miss him. You know, from these 20 years, I spent 10 uh, years uh, with Jose and uh, in the same team, in the same room, in the same bed, and uh, we shared everything, uh, mostly everything, and uh, yeah, it was just great. First, uh, when he came, when we came together, I learned a lot of him. I was two years younger, but he had a lot of more experience. He taught me English or Spanglish and uh, this guy was the character of the mountain bike scene for, for these 20 years. Uh, good morning. <coughs> My voice is not perfect. <laughs> we don't live together. I live with Ralph. We still uh, we touch each other. 
have really a lot of good memories with Jose. He's, he's such a great person. He's, he's friend with everybody. He's always in good mood, and uh, he was a really great guy to be in a field. Like he had everybody. Yeah, was just friend with him, and he was always so happy. And uh, I'm quite a bit sad that he's yeah missing next year. He's really a great person. He's coming live, this is a new period and uh, he was a great teammate over these years. I've been in Merida and uh, yeah, he's a great guy. I will miss him. Eh, bueno, Jose para mí ha sido todos estos años como un hermano mayor. Para mi gusto es el mejor referente que ha tenido el Mountain Bay a nivel nacional y mundial por su carisma y por sus, por sus resultados y por su forma de transmitir a los espectadores y a los aficionados y al resto de corredores el, su filosofía del Mountain Bay y de la vida. Y para mí, José es de the Big Boss. For the people who think we always sleep in king size beds, this is our. Yeah. <laughs> Special memories also. You uh, were always a good teammate. You knew how to make uh, good atmospheres in the team. And uh, I think you will always also be a big miss in the mountain bike scene. You were a real uh, one of the. Yeah, ambassadors for our sport. You knew how to sell the sport. Uh, first of all, uh, really professional, hardworking, but also uh, time for the fans and uh, to make uh, give an autograph and to make some jokes. The women was second last lap. They do the wheel tunnel for Jose. I think it really meant a lot to Jose, and it did not only show that the big respect that the other teams or the other team members have for Jose, but it also showed that the great spirit that's within the, the mountain bike community. I think most of the people will remember Jose as the funny dude, the, the clown that he is. He is, he is terrible funny, but he's never the type of guy who makes fun of other people. He always likes to laugh with people, not about them. Like he never tells stupid jokes and make pranks with other people to make other people look stupid. He always just makes himself look stupid, which is sometimes super funny. And that guy really got a plan. I mean, he's not the type of typical type of Spaniard that you see lying on the beach and not caring about anything and mañana, mañana. No, no. He's got a real plan. Like, he's very, very structured. He always got his things together. Everything he needs to have packed, he has together, all in his bag. He's all set up. Well, Offenburg was always special for Jose. I remember another great story. He was riding in the world champion jersey and he got a puncture. And, but for him it wasn't a problem. He took off the tire and he did the whole loop on the rim without a tire, which was uh, amazing, especially for the spectators around the track. And Jose came to the tech zone again, changed the wheel and he was fighting until the end. So this shows his character, he's a real fighter and never give up. My first bike was a Diamondback Axis, unbelievable bike. That was the bike that, uh, that me, bring me to this sport. So I started racing in 97 and a uh, long time ago. Since that time, I think I missed only one World Cup, so I have a good statistics. From my uh, pro team in the beginning, Scott team, I've been racing three years. I started in 97 with Scott, and then I moved to Bianchi in 2000 and those, those are some of the bikes. We spent some time in the Bianchi team at the beginning. We were all together young. He was a little bit older than me, so he explained me something. He was like, um, like a teacher for me.
Well, first of all, Kose is uh, one of the very greatest mountain bike athletes we ever had in this uh, sport and uh, I had the honor to be there when he started his career or even before. He still is a raw model of what it means to enjoy what you're doing and this is what he stands out for. Jose has always been the professional out there that also showed how much he loves the sport and how much he loves to do what he's doing and that's something all the young punks can learn from this guy. You know, when I arrived to mountain biking, I, um, I moved my idols to the side, you know, like Rune Hoydal, Frischneck and company, I moved them. So now it's time that uh, the young guys, they, they move me also to the side and uh, I leave the place for the young guys, for a new generation and uh, this, is, uh, this is how it works. Olympic medal, silver from Athens. Here you have a world champion medals. Uh, European medals, I don't even remember how many I have, so that's, that's bad, that shows I have been racing for a long time. Here you can see my beautiful bike that, that brought me um, to the glory and gave me the, the rainbow stripes in 2010 in Monsantan. That's the original bike with the same uh, the number plate, everything. Nothing touched since that time. Since that time. First world champion of the event and winner of the gold medal from Spain, the Spain, Jose Antonio. Well, I have been waiting for this moment so long. My whole career, you know. And uh, now it's emotions, uh, remembers from uh, since I started biking. So it's big emotions, you know. I, I thought uh, I would start my career without the uh, elite uh, world champion title, and finally I got it in one of my favorite, uh, favorite courses here in Monsantana. And now I can sleep. Uh, tranquilo and uh, rest and uh, even if I decide to stop my car I can do it tranquilo now.
Tropical Weather Mallorca. Time to pack and heading to Andorra to my last walk up. I'm gonna miss uh, friends, mechanics, I'm gonna miss uh, yeah, all the people I met in the last 20 years, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be emotional for sure, some tears, they are gonna drop. But this is how I am, I'm like this. Jose, you old chicken, look what they've made me do. I hope you're a lot of fun in your retirement, man. Now you can just drink the whole time, smoke cigarettes, life's gonna be a lot, lot better for you. But we're gonna miss you, enjoy your retirement. Uh, Jose. Thank you for everything. Uh, thank you to meet you in my life. Uh, I hope you will join your life after your career and your uh, as a professional mountain biker and uh, spend some time with your wife and uh, your children. And definitely, I will see you again in the future. Good luck for the future. Thanks for everything you've done for the sport. Go and have some fun now, Jose. Let's have a beer later on tomorrow afternoon. Cheers. Yeah, thanks, Jose. It's been a blast for 20 years, and uh, hopefully, we'll see you next year and for many years to come. And good job. It's been great. Cheers. Bonne continuation à toi et puis à, à très bientôt sur le circuit. Ciao, Guinea. You really deserve now uh, to have a bit uh, an easier time. Uh, you're such a great person and I hope to see you still somewhere on the races. Cobra, I love you. You know that. I was always a special fan from you and uh, I hope you're doing well after the racing life. Bye bye. Bueno, simplemente que gracias por todo lo que has hecho por nosotros y por mí en especial. Eh, me has enseñado mucho y espero compartir contigo muchos años todavía en el, en el mountain bike y en nuestra vida personal. Un abrazo, jefe. I think, uh, yeah, we don't see each other that much in the future anymore, but I hope uh, sometimes you can meet and uh, we still keep in contact and uh, you're always a good friend and uh, yeah, you will always stay a good friend. Or who doesn't like a friend who pays, your, uh, pays you the beers at the party? So, goodbye, Jose, and thank you. Thanks a lot for having you in the team for many, many years, 13 years in total. And also welcome on the other side, welcome at the Merida family and working hard for us in the future as well. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you around. I hope we will stay in contact and yeah, we, I hope we will have time for, for more beers than we had in the past. 
Well, Jose, I don't want to cry now, but uh, my my tears are close. Uh, I hope I hope we keep you in the family, and I can uh, still have fun with you out there at the races. That you remain in the uh, in our sport uh, and have a couple beers with Rolf uh, and myself. Now you're not. Uh, have to suffer anymore in the races. So please stay with us.